Hello guys, it's Abhishek and you're watching TechSet. You can also watch my other videos from my playlist to gain more knowledge because in my channel, you will get all you need in tech. In this video, we will see how to install Android 8.1 in Windows or you can say Android Oreo in Windows. As if we know that Android is especially designed for smartphones and tablets, but we can install it in our PC or laptop also. Let's see how. Before installation of Android 8.1 in our PC, we need to understand what are the requirements to do so. Our first requirement is, we should have to have an ISO file of Android 8.1. Second requirement is, we should have virtual box. And third requirement is, we should have minimum 6 to 8 gigs of hard disk free space. And these are the requirements we should have to install Android 8.1 in virtual box. And if you want to install Android 8.1 in your PC or laptop, then you should have to have bootable ISO file of Android 8.1 in your CD, DVD or USB drive. And if you don't know how to create bootable USB drive, then you can mention hashtag techset create bootable USB in comment box. And soon, I will try to make a video on it for you guys. Let's move that how to download ISO of Android 8.1 and how to download VirtualBox. You will get the links also in the video description so that you can easily use the official website by clicking on the links. Now I'm gonna open Chrome to download VirtualBox. And this is the official website of VirtualBox. From here, you can download VirtualBox for Windows, Mac, Linux and other operating systems. But this video is all about installation of VirtualBox in Windows. So we will download it for Windows. I have already downloaded this virtual box, so I'm not gonna download it again. Our second step is download ISO image for Android 8.1. So I clicked here and it is also the official website of Android. Here we have two providers. You can select any provider to download the ISO file. As you click on any provider, it will show you the complete list of Android ISO for Windows, Linux in 32 bits and 64 bits where it is written ISO that is Windows file and where it is written RPM that is Linux file. As we all know that we are in Windows so we will download the first link. Soon you will see download option and I also have this ISO so I don't wanna download it again. Our third step is after downloading the virtual box you just need to install it in your PC like you always install other application in your PC or laptop. And I hope I don't need to tell you how to install any application in Windows. So I'm just skipping this installation part. And after installation of VirtualBox, open it like I'm doing. Here I have some virtual machines like for Windows, Linux, Server and Mac etc. If you wanna create virtual machine for Android, then click on machine, then click on new. Now, type the machine name like I'm typing Android 8.1. You can type any name. Second part is choose the type of this machine. So I'm selecting other and from version option, select unknown 64 bit and then click on next. Second page comes with recommended memory of this virtual machine. And here memory means RAM. RAM stands for random access memory. By default, it is recommending us 64 megabyte. But for the faster performance, I'm just giving it 930 megabyte. Now click on next, click next, again click next, next. This page brings provide the hard disk space for this Android 8.1 and it is by default 2 gigs. But I'm just giving it 12 gigs for hard disk space. As I told you, minimum hard disk space should be 6 to 8 gigs. But if you don't have enough space, then you can provide 6 gigs. Then click on create. Our 50% work has been done. Now simply click on start to start this virtual machine. From here, you can select Android ISO image, which we have just downloaded. So image has been selected, click on start. Once you click on start, you will get four options. First option is, if you don't wanna install Android 8.1 in virtual box, then you can run it as a live CD without installation. Second option is debug mode. If you want to test this Android after making any changes in it, then you can select this option. Third option is install Android in your hard disk. And fourth option is advanced option. Here, 
we are discussing installation of Android 8.1 so we will select third option and press enter soon it will start the process of installation next option is related to hard disk here we need to create partitions because we are installing Android 8.1 first time in this virtual machine so let it be selected the first option and press enter as you press enter you will get a prompt do you want to use GPT yes or no here it is by default selected no so let it be because we use GPT in Windows not in Android and in our upcoming videos we will also discuss GPT and MBR so here we will select no and press enter then you will get the screen where it will show you free hard disk space if you remember that we have provided 12 gigs of free hard disk space to this virtual machine which is showing here so our first step is to create a partition for that click on new by using your up and down arrow keys select new and press enter then it will ask you do you want to create primary partition logical partition or cancel here we need to create primary partition which is by default selected just press enter once you press enter it will show you your hard disk space as i told you we have given it 12 gigs so it is asking that you want to use complete space or not so yes we want to use complete disk space in this virtual machine so just press enter now we have created a partition and used complete space but if you want to boot this android image then we have to make it bootable as you can see here bootable option is by default selected and in the flag option it is blank so press enter to make it bootable once we press enter you will see it is bootable now in the flags our last step is whatever changes we have made here we need to write these changes in this hard disk for that simply use your up and down arrow keys and select write then press enter once you do that for yes type yes for no type no then press enter now changes has been written to this disk all the steps has been done use your up and down arrow keys and select quit if you want to boot your android by this partition then press ok now we have some file system lists our first option is extended 4 second is ntfs and third is fat32 we use ntfs and fat32 in mostly windows and extended 4 mostly used in sd cards and android so we have to select extended 4 file system and press enter now it is asking your confirmation that are you sure you want to format your hard disk by extended 4 it is by default no make it yes and press enter next confirmation is do you want to install bootloader grub so select yes and press enter because grub is a bootloader which keeps booting files and helps in booting next confirmation is do you want to make it read and write so that we can copy and write data in it so select yes and press enter after completing all the steps it will start installing android 8.1 so once this android will be installed it will give you two options run android or reboot we need to remove the android iso image which we had inserted in the virtual machine to install android 8.1 because if you don't remove that iso image then after restarting it will give you option install android 8.1 again and again for that click on devices then click on optical drives select remove disk from virtual drive now click on force unmount and select reboot then click ok after restarting it will give you four options you just need to select first option which is android 8.1 and press enter it will start booting with android 8.1 now select your language and click on start it is checking for updates here we have two options copy your data or set up as a new as we all know that we are installing android 8.1 first time in this virtual machine so we need to use second option select second option set up as a new device and press enter now log in with your gmail account as we all know that android is a product of google if you want to use play store youtube then you have to log in with your gmail id type your gmail password click next click on agree click on more again click on agree we are done here it is asking do you want to use another gmail account so if you want to add another gmail account then you can i'm pressing no thanks after that select launcher 
and it is giving you two options for always or just once select for always now we have our android applications let's try to open play store to see it is working or not so i'm in play store and it is working fine let's open youtube i clicked on youtube it's my youtube channel you can check my playlist for more interesting videos from here you can subscribe my channel and after subscribing click on the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications on time this was the way how to install android 8.1 in our windows or in virtual box question time guys now tell me what file system we had selected while installing android 8.1 and your options are option a ntfs option b fat 32 option c extended 4 you can type your answers in next 10 seconds below the comment section so that's all from my side if you like my videos then hit like make comments share my videos on whatsapp and facebook so that we can spread the knowledge and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates thank you